Yes, good evening, yeah. everyone. Thank you for being here for our regular monthly uh, board meeting on Monday, May 1st. Uh, board members, you have before you a, uh, an agenda. You want to take a look at that and uh, offer any changes, or we would be open for a motion that we approve this agenda for tonight's meeting. Motion to approve. Okay. Got a motion? Second. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed say no. Great. Well, if everyone would please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, 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 States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. So, board members, uh, we had minutes first from our regular meeting in April, on April 3rd, that were sent out in draft form. So, you read. Motion to approve. Okay, motion. Second. And a second. Any further discussion of the April 3rd minutes? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, anyone opposed say no. Great. Also, in today's email, you had draft minutes from our special call meeting on April 27th. They would like for it to end uh, in a few months. It's just 12 visits. It's not a okay. month. So, uh, like, is this our last payment to, to them, or no? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, we still have three more. We canceled one because of weather or something like that. We're trying to reschedule because that's one reason I made a mention that if y'all want to use it, there's time to do something like that because you know, the tough getting the administrators back in for another month. We have three more. Visits with them that could be used. That's like, how we choose. That's correct. July. August. There's no, there's no deadline. For uh, I don't know. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This has to be used by a certain date. Mm -hmm. But the PO that we have full is just through June 30th. But we could. No, we still do. Yeah. And then we just paid our federal. Make a motion to approve April disbursements. Okay. Motion to approve April disbursements. Second. And a second. Any discussion or other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed say no. Thank you. Uh, principal's reports. All right. Mr. Bob. Well, I'm not Miss Whitenack, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, I guess. Uh, I, we, I did tell them not to have the students tonight. I don't know how long they're going to do that. So I just want you to oh, yeah. That's why I didn't want you to think, well, Miss Bobby shows up, they need to bring the kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, a lot of things going on. Ralph Askins, uh, first of all, testing went real good the past two weeks. A lot of credit to our students, faculty, especially to Jennifer Hale Walker and Steve Giffen. His testing went great, went smooth at Ralph Askins. Uh, this week, of course, you know, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. I uh, really appreciate the hard work the teachers are doing. Uh, they're great. We've got a great staff at Askins, and uh, we have several treats every day, and then Friday the admin's going to feed them lunch. So, uh, Let's see. Wednesday, May the 3rd, we've got Head Start coming in to do a kindergarten tour at 9 o'clock with a uh, Q&A at 945. Thursday night, 6 o'clock, we've got our Tigers Got Talent talent show. We've got about 30-something kids, I think, signs up. 
<clears throat> they're all excited about that. Let's see, Friday, May the 12th. Now this is one, that we're gonna go back to the old school tiger tracks. We've got the fire truck, the bicycles, the wagons, <laughs> the whole nine yards. And Miss Barbara Banata, she she's gonna be the Grand Marshal. Oh. So, uh, yes, yeah, so everybody's excited about that. Yeah. She's my first grade. Oh yeah, that's, everybody is pumped about that. Um, also, we've got awards day coming up, uh, Monday, May the 15th, and Tuesday, May the 16th. The 15th, which is on that Monday, kindergarten's at 9 o'clock, third grade's at 10 o'clock, fourth grade's at 1.30. Then on Tuesday the 16th, first grade's at 8.30, and the second grade is at 1 o'clock. And then to wrap it up, we'll have our first Tiger Ties and Tiaras dance. It's a daddy-daughter, mother-son dance. Uh, it's for grades three through five. We've already got about 37 kids in their significant other parent or <laughs> guardian signed up, so everybody's excited about that. So, what was the date on that again? That is, that will be Wednesday, May the 17th, and it's from five o'clock to seven o'clock. So the kids are excited. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got field trips and I mean, it's just the end, typical end of the year stuff at the elementary school, so. But it's exciting times right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. I would, love, I would love if we could get the front mulch before tire tracks. Is that possible? We'll work on it. That's what we can do. What? Mark, 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 uh, LLP or whatever LLC want to make a donation? <laughs> <laughs> I really will. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So we also had a great two weeks of testing. Our first online testing went really well at the middle school. Uh, teachers did a fantastic job. The students worked extremely hard, and uh, Miss Brittany Baker did an awesome job coordinating that. So it was a very smooth transition. I actually prefer that over the paper pencil. Now that we've we've done that, it was very nice. Com all Chromebooks worked. Internet was great. So thanks to Ben and Tammy were there. If we had any little glitches, which was very very minor. Um, Saturday, May the 6th is our big night, 8th grade night, so we would like to invite you guys to come. The walkout will start at 530. We will have chairs reserved over in front of the stage and along um, the wall, so you don't have to worry about fighting the crowd if, you know, come in at the last minute if you want to. Your walkout's at 530. Um, you're welcome to stay for dinner with us afterwards if you want to. We'll serve the kids dinner and stay and have a little dance as well if you want to. Uh, Tuesday, May the 9th, we will honor our uh, athletes with our awards program. So we'll have eight, an 8.30 award and a 9. We're splitting up for fall and spring because it's such a large group when they have to sit there that long of a time. And then Tuesday, May the 9th, we have a special night. We're going to do an open house for our upcoming sixth graders. So that will be at 530. We'll start with a presentation from Steve Trash. He's a magician. So we'll open the doors before that. We're going to so that the parents can walk through. But the teachers will be there. The special area teachers will be there so the parents and kids can meet them, tour the building but we have him coming in to get them maybe excited and hopefully that'll get them in the building. Then Thursday, May the 11th, our Beta Club is participating in their annual Junior's House Walk, which they do every year. They raised a little over $1,000 this year to donate to Junior's House. And then our final academic award will be Tuesday, May the 16th. And all these dates and more times will be on that email that I sent out this weekend. So if you wanna refer back to that, that'll give you all the specifics. So, okay. Any questions? So I do have a question. So I heard from students, I guess it was, I don't know where it was, and students that, I don't think they go to city schools, but they were complaining about 
uh, internet going out and they shut down. That was not ours. Not ours. We I heard, mm -mm. I actually saw um, a couple of teachers this weekend at an uh, event that we were at. They went in Thursday morning and did not know they were, maybe it was Wednesday, one morning, can't remember. And yes, yeah. their internet, but it was, my understanding, it wasn't anything to do with their school. It had to do with a cable that was cut outside of Lincoln County. Yes. Um, and yes, so they were not able to test that data. It did not affect it. The slightest little glitch that we had was maybe this Chromebook didn't log in, but we had plenty to trade them in and out. That never stopped us whatsoever. We just, it was very, very smooth. We had our little group working and transferring computers. It was very easy. Okay. So, I just want to make, yes. I had not no heard, problem. Both of you talked about how smooth it was. Yes. Really, they submit when like they, they went to submit. Us, yeah. Tales of woe about mm -hmm. how terrible yes. it was. <laughs> yes. Different yeah. Right. I think it was AT&T. Well, it, it, it was Wednesday because uh, I had some people talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, y'all been able to test it? We yeah. stopped being checked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Ours, ours was, it was fantastic. It was Sometimes very easy. Lucky. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, testing for us, as well as like everybody else, was very smooth. Uh, I have actually been party to when testing doesn't work. So <laughs> I can speak from experience how stressful that is, uh, but everything ran great for us. Probably some of the best test attendance I think we've had during this time. We only had a handful of makeups and most of those were knocked out really by the first of last week. So very proud of the kids for coming in and getting that done and, and you know showing what they can do. So now we just wait till it all comes back in the summer. So look forward to that. Uh, we're going to have our beta induction on May 9th at 5 o'clock. That'll be in the gym. That's their annual induction for the new members. So Ms. Benash and her officer team has that program ready to go. Uh, also, uh, of course, our big thing, we're, we're in the graduation blitz. So everything we're doing is trying to wrap up the year and move toward that. So starting on May 16th is when that kind of jumps off for us. Uh, we'll have the walkthroughs at RES and FMS that day. Uh, that afternoon, we will have the senior awards at 6 o'clock. That'll be uh, at the gym um, there at the school. Then the 17th is going to be baccalaureate at 6 o'clock, and that'll be in the gym as well. Uh, also on the 17th is when we're doing the field day for the kids. Uh, so that is the day where we cook hamburgers. Y'all are more than welcome to come by and get you something to eat. Uh, very gracious for Pile Rock for being able to provide the meat for that. I think Megan told me we had something like 600 hamburgers to cook. So if anybody wants to come help flip hamburgers, I'll be glad to take the help. But uh, it'll all be great, and, and the kids enjoy it, and it's, it's a good time had by all. Uh, and then 18th is the graduation ceremony at 7 o'clock, weather permitting. We're going to have it outside on the football field, and if obviously weather's an issue, we'll punt and kind of change our plans. Just move it inside like we have in the past. Um, but that pretty much wraps us up for the year, other than just getting transcripts and grades and just kind of end of the year closeout for everything. So, and then I think you all got the flyer uh, for the talent show. Mr. Hobbs wanted me to make sure you had that, just kind of as a reminder. Um, Super excited. Uh, he's done an amazing job with the drama department. We're looking at increasing his offerings uh, next year. And he's super excited about doing the talent show at Askins. I think, I think he said he had mostly comedy <laughs> comedy bits. But uh, he's got a few singings in there and some other stuff. So, But it's good. But appreciate y'all. And if, does anybody have any questions? With, with respect to gra graduation yes. on Thursday night the 18th, begins at 7 p.m. While we're all here, what are our responsibilities as board members that evening? You just come and enjoy, and if, if the spirit gets in you to help break down the stage after it's all over with, okay. we always need people to crawl underneath and take seat plans. There will be, we have reserved seating for y'all. Okay, um, Usually on the track to the left. Okay. Yeah, left if you're looking at the stage. 
Yeah. Yeah. Capacity, yeah. Right. <laughs> so just be there and enjoy the show. I've, I've got a record I'm going to break. I'm not going to tell what it is, but those of you that know, know what it is. So, but it's going to be good. It's going to be a good night for the kids. Yes, always is. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Small, Alderman Small is going to speak this time. So, yep. Thank y'all. Okay, Supervisor, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Our, um, as far, I'll start off with maintenance. Uh, we have basically reached substantial completion on our Schneider project, so the envelope of the buildings is done, the um, lights is pretty much done, there are a few little areas that they're tweaking and adding some stuff. Um, all the work that they did with the HVAC, all that's been completed. Um, all of, really all of the things that they're doing is pretty much completed or we're waiting on a part that's you know going to take some time. So we are at that point, we're signing off on documentation to show that they have done uh, the bulk of the work and we're pleased. Um, they've had good crews, they've sent good people in, uh, they've been good stewards of their access to the building um, and I haven't heard really any complaints at all related to those projects which is remarkable like sincerely that is a remarkable thing um, only complaints I heard were some of the LED lights were too bright until people kind of got used to them because it's the the tone and the color of the light is different and it took some adjustment but after a couple of days everybody's you know and and well I've heard other things like have we put new flooring in here have we and it's just because of the lights so uh, we're pleased with that project um, <coughs> as far as the dome, we're still kind of holding on that. Uh, I talked about that a little earlier. Um, other projects, HVAC, we've got the bulk of the work done. Uh, there's some parts with the cooling tower and there's some parts uh, related to boilers. Uh, but because the prices have gotten so much better, we've been able to do a lot more with that uh, ESSER money in an effort to make the, the air quality better and just do a lot more for the buildings and get a lot more bang for our buck than we would have ever thought possible. Uh, Mr. Bryant has done a fantastic job of researching and finding our best ways to utilize the money. I really wanna brag on him. Um, I've worked with him for over 20 years and it's some of the best work I've ever seen him do. Uh, he's put his heart in that project and uh, we've just, it's hard to, explain how beneficial. I, if I had to put a number, I would say we probably got $1.6 million worth of value if we had sh shopped everything out by doing it the way we've done uh, and we were spend under a million dollars on it. <laughs> it's all said that. So that it wound up being a, you know, a blessing for us in disguise. So uh, very pleased with that. Um, <coughs> I'll, transportation, everything's going very well. We're always looking for bus drivers. Um, anybody who's interested, you know, please contact me. Uh, we don't have any uh, specific openings, but what we're noticing is we have more and more people riding the buses. So um, that's that's good. I mean, got a lot of students riding the buses uh, when I drive. They're just packed. Um, we're uh, we've also got another teacher, um, uh, Mr. Hall, is pursuing his. And now there's a training component, so it's basically like you have to take a, uh, some coursework, like a college level online course called ELDT, and then uh, he's <coughs> completing that, and then he'll get on the road uh, and do his road stuff with Jeff and I uh, toward the end of the year and into the summer, and hopefully he'll be ready to go by next year. So it's good. Well, it's a serious problem for a lot of places, but we're fortunate. Um, and that's the bulk of my report, but I'll be. Getting some new vehicles? No, not this time. Uh, we're getting two vans. Uh, van, we're there are vans that have been written in. Here. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. That's coming though. Yeah, that's oh, yes. And I'll uh, as we get those in and uh, get all the paperwork done so that we can start utilizing them. I'll update the board, and make sure everybody knows what we got and uh, if we got good deals and uh, hopefully uh, how everybody will be aware of them and they can utilize them use them all the time because uh, we've 
that's been very helpful to us with our small sports and teams and clubs. About the, the Schneider project, there, at some point, do they sort of snap a chalk line and say, okay, from this point forward, those savings that they promised begin? Yes, is that yes. Period, that period hasn't no, begun yet because they haven't yet. implemented all the not yet. features. Right. It's a, they, close to that, right? The controls are the piece, the stuff that, the hardware that goes into the units uh, for HVAC and for control of the lights that talks to Schneider. Mm -hmm. Those are the pieces that are we're waiting and installing and making sure everything's right and that's where they'll get the data from so right. that's the they won't be able to do that until those are in and then at a certain date they will and and frankly um, we're we're this stuff is really nice and we're going to save a lot of money on uh, on our power bills and it's, it's good we've made we've made huge strides in energy efficiency so that'll, it'll be a few months before we can really yes, start to see how much are we actually Yeah, doing. it'll be in the fall before we yeah. have a real, because not just that, you'll need a couple of months to see a trend. No. And uh, we, we can compare year to year, but we'll want to see it within that to make sure everything's working right. And, you know, it's right. uh, adjusting on, on the go. Uh, does anyone have other questions? Good. Thank you, sir. Mr. Johnson. I have nothing. You have nothing. Well, I just figured you guys wanted to get out. So no, we want to hear, okay. we hear more good news. Uh, so we did get the approval on our ISM budget. Um, Lisa's probably not going to be my friend because those <laughs> are going to be later POs than what would have been ideal. Um, did we do have a van that's in that that uh, I actually already have the bids on we've worked out a deal with that where we could potentially get that in this fiscal year if everything lined up but we will see um, other things I uh, had a meeting today with health science feeling really good about our dialogue with Motlow we had that downstairs so hopefully we have that in line for our middle college students our nursing students that will be going there. We also have set up our TCAT dual enrollment. Brandy will be teaching that, even though uh, there are gonna be some changes made in personnel in that area. So she'll be doing math for meds and she'll also be doing um, anatomy and physiology. Uh, those will have an embedded work-based learning piece that will be in those, which is in the hospital. You don't know, we have like 20 something kids right now working in the hospital. So I'm trying to think, uh, Perkins Basic was submitted. That includes a piece, as a matter of fact, for busing. Um, we were discussing that today. That, that particular grant, if they approve it, will provide busing to kids to get to Montlow in the morning, to the TCAT, to the work-based learning experiences, and then pick them up in the afternoon. So even if they don't have transportation. So nobody's really doing that right now. So that's gonna be something new and different. But that's basically it. That's awesome. That's good. And it's all what is the future look like for CT for our middle school students? Well, that depends. In the ISM grant, actually, that'll be a phase two. There are greenhouses that are written into that, and also a um, school based enterprise that will tie into the graphic design course that Ms. Rulander will be teaching. She actually picked up that certification. So as we know that we have high school students that are going to be out of the building, industrial maintenance, the welding program, which we got the final approval on that, there's one little tweak on the contract between the TCAT and Aaron's, but I anticipate that'll be done in a week. Um, those students are leaving the building. Well, guess what? That leaves the high school teachers then with opportunities. Ideally, what I would like to see is our eighth graders actually being integrated into CTE courses. There's also in that grant a piece for a computer science instructor at the middle school, but that'll be a phase two. I'm sure you're aware they already have, um, for example, their morning show. So right now the schedule calls for a guidance period and an, a library period. Um, we'd like to take those and evolve them to CTE courses and computer science courses. So that's the ultimate goal, but that's probably not gonna be able to take effect in August. It's a three-year grant, so that would be a second year. 
but with a more compatible schedule for both schools to share resources. Did I explain that okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I told you health science, I told you welding um, and machining. Our students will also be allowed to participate. We'll be dropping some kids off at Lincoln County. Our students are going to be integrated into their machining CTE course as well. And we have two eighth graders that hopefully are going to be able to go into ROTC as ninth graders. So if everything works out, that's the plan. So, all right, look at that. We do have a poking. No, oh, uh, we need to remember Mr. Giffen in, in prayer. Is that nothing bad, but he's having some minor surgery tomorrow, and so uh, it, he's got that going on. You know, he's he's like, so he's not here tonight. And Steve asked me if I would just draw your attention to the um, enrollment reports. I uh, set those on top of your packets uh, before the meetings this evening. Um, and he wanted to uh, make the statement that the testing went very well. Uh, Steve worked really hard on it. Um, and he wanted to brag on all the building people as well as Ben and Tech. Um, but <coughs> testing went impeccably well, as you've all heard. And Steve was a big part of that. So we appreciate him and we're thinking about him tomorrow. Um, we have established a grow your own partnership and this is really finally what I've been waiting for I think a few years back we talked about the grow your own and most of those programs were for people who already had bachelor's degrees which wasn't super helpful for us um, what we really wanted was an opportunity for our educational assistants who we know are, are great people great with kids great work ethic able um, to teach so we finally there is a program we're partnering with um, UT Southern um, they prefer that applicants have an associate's degree but it's not needed if if they don't have that associates they're opening up other pathways for those those people to get those through for example Tennessee reconnect so they're supporting them all the way through um, essentially after that um, associate's degree is established then they would be teacher apprentices and work through UT Southern um, and become teachers so our contribution as a district for that is to pay a stipend for mentors to mentor um, the those those apprentice teachers and to give them the opportunity to be in classrooms um, so that um, we applied for that um, we got that and we're super excited we're meeting on May 18th um, as of right now we've got about seven edu educational assistants and others Drew Ivey is, is one of the people who um, is interested in becoming a teacher so if we had school nurses anybody who worked in in our system as not a teacher and wanted a pathway to teach and we would be willing to allow them to work in the classrooms um, so Drew is one of the people who's coming but we also have um, other educational assistants right now about seven people who are interested in that interest meeting is going to be on May 18th at 9 a.m. So That's a game we're, changer, folks. we're super excited about that. Are they in the classrooms like in a student teaching role or they have their own class? No, they uh, in a student teaching role. Like they would maintain their current jobs but just have opportunities to go in to exactly. teach lessons, obviously building to the place where they're kind of taking over the whole class at, at, um, at the end of their experience right before they graduate. But um, we're just super excited, you know, to have so many interested. It will offer um, K-5 elementary ed as well as both special ed avenues, interventionist and modified curriculum. So um, we definitely have the need for those um, special ed positions. So. It's been a long-term effort on your part to try to bring that about. Right? Absolutely. And I, I want to just shout out to Ms. Dotson and Ms. Brandy, CTE in general, work-based learning in general. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen any pictures, but we've got Jenny placed um, with Lincoln Health System. So she's working at the Patrick and working at... Um, at um, Lincoln at the hospital whatever it's called now I'm sorry <laughs> um, but anyway I get pictures regularly and it's just super excited she's doing a great job they've been amazing and that was really big efforts um, our Miss Miss Artigo is amazing in that CDC classroom uh, Mr. Adams working hard to work out schedules so somebody can go with her most days um, and and Miss Brandy has been instrumental so she will be a blessing to everybody. Thank you. Our styles. <coughs>
Well, 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 we're in the month of May. Um, last time we spoke, our pre-K numbers were hovering around 53, something like that, and now we are up to 70. So, you guys, I appreciate all the input y'all gave because we were able to get things rolling and get some advertisements in some of the daycares, Head Start, Junior's House. But I want to put a shout out to the uh, pre-K teachers because I sent a message to them and they jumped on it and they were delivering things and making little small flyers. So, it was, that was great. And I, I really feel like at the end, I mean, more into the beginning of the school, or at the end of the summer, you'll have an influx of, of uh, registrants. And then we have been planning for our summer camps, and our budget came through, and our K-3, we now have 96 students enrolled, and in our fourth through ninth, we have 50 students enrolled. And that's, they've both pretty much met the threshold, so that's a good thing. But. Um, I did want to continue to advertise it because we would love our kids to participate in summer camp. And it is uh, 16 days in the summer, Monday through Thursday. It starts June 1st and it goes to June 29th. And it's eight to three every day, breakfast, lunch is included, transportation's included. It's all, it's gonna be all kinds of fun and learning. So put a shout out there. We really want our kids to be involved. As far as the um, third grade, promotion program. We've done a great job with that. Uh, our teachers have really um, organized that well and, and our administration uh, as well as our coaches, our academic coaches. And um, we will have an opportunity to retake the test, the ELA portion of the test, if they didn't you know, get the score they want. And that will be um, May 22nd. So we're going to do that. And I just wanted to tell you today we met with our all of our coaches academic coaches our admin supervisors all of us together in this room Elliot presented um, SchoolNet it's a testing platform that is also the platform that creates the 10 ready for the TCAP and uh, we also met with case and so we we're really working hard to streamline our testing so that our kids aren't over tested in any way and we all and we would like to um, really put a focus in on math and really tighten that math up and possibly have math a math team of teachers who make some of those decisions and so um, that's pretty much all I have unless you have questions for me okay thank you thank you so much all right good And then the last two pages is the support staff. And these are already included in the budget we approved last month. That is correct, yes. And I guess we're waiting on, I guess maybe the city board meeting will be the ninth. Is that right? Is that what we figured the week? That's tomorrow? correct. Nick, uh, Nick, not this Tuesday. We anticipate they'll approve the overall city budget at that time. Mayor June. Mayor June. So they could, they could either yes. do it at June. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
again, this is not this is not new in the sense that we've already programmed this right. into the budget. We What's the difference between the blue and the red? Uh, the one is the teachers and principals, and then the other one is system wide, yeah. which they would work for all three schools. And I would just ask for your approval. Okay. Just need a motion. We just need to approve these. No new money. Second. You got a move? motion? Okay. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. any, any discussion further of those salary schedules specifically? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed say no. Thank you. All right. Uh, committee reports, facilities and transportation. Anything that we had a great tour. Um, we met with Mr. Jones and he gave us a, we did a facility tour of Ralph Haskins. We didn't have time to make it anywhere else. <laughs> well, um, there was lots to see. It was very informative. Sometimes we talk about things in the board that we don't, it makes it come to life when you're seeing things with your eyes in the building. And there were some things he pointed out that we maybe didn't know enough about. So it was, it was good perspective to see the things that were the one focus. And I think we've all talked about that building is kind of on our list of where we're gonna do some things as the money comes. Um, so it's good to see that. We did see some things that we would like to see improved upon. Mm -hmm. We've had those discussions and I have faith that those things will be addressed. Super. And you'll probably circle back and go look at facilities on be, Tiger Hill at some point. We will be making tall free schools as the yeah. summer goes on. Yeah. Super. Um, well, while you're speaking of the facilities and being in the facility and the value there, is it is it the board occasionally over the years will have board meetings, monthly board meetings in the school building just to mm -hmm. get out and sort of be yeah, about. Yeah, we talked. We discussed that. Do we want to sort of think about that? on the next school year or something to maybe, maybe make the rounds over the course of the year. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be, I think that'd be fun. Super. All right. All right. Uh, Finance Committee has a few budget amendments uh, in the email. I'm trying to see here. Is this what this in today's? Yeah, this is in today's email. The first attachment was FY23 budget amendment number two to the general purpose fund. And it, um, Ms. Williams, do you mind kind of describing that one to us? Um, okay, this one is um, doing some housekeeping with some budget cleanups. We're transferring some um, funds from one category or function to the, to the different categories and functions that we um, need to adjust our budgets with. And so this one, I would ask for approval, and this one also would need to go to the city since it is mm -hmm. the budget. Mm -hmm. right. right, no new money, just no moving money around. Just we're transferring getting, the end yeah. the GP budget. As we, as we get closer to the end of the budget year, we always end up sort of redistributing a few things uh, to sort of close out the budget year. So I'd make a motion we approve but, uh, budget amendment number two for the general purpose fund. Mm -hmm. All right, got a motion and a second. Any discussion or questions about that? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed say no. Great. You also, in that same email today, had budget, uh, FY23 budget amendment number three. And this is for the summer counts. And this is adding money to the GP, which is in the amount of 92,563 <coughs> This is the funds that we received for some learning mm -hmm. count. Mm -hmm. That we spoke about. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Plugging that in so we can do our counts. I'd make a motion we approve budget amendment number three. Um, All, right. Exactly. All right. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion about that? All in favor say aye. aye. If you want to vote, say no. Thank you. We also have FY23 line item amendment number two, which is. Let's see, it was attached to this uh, same email. It's attachment number six to today's email. Mm -hmm. And it involves, well, it's a general purpose fund. There, 
it will not require city approval. This is just moving around some sublines within uh, a major category. Yes, that is correct. And again, that's four pages, pages one through four. Again, just kind of cleaning things up at, toward the end of the budget cycle. So I would make a motion we approve line item amendment number two to the general purpose fund. Fair Okay. And motion and a second. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, it counts the same. It counts the same. All in favor say aye. aye. Uh, anyone opposed say no. Thank you. And then we also have uh, line item amendment number two for the cafeteria fund. Um, Yes, that's amendment. Uh, that's attachment number seven to today's email. There were 15 attachments if you didn't count. A lot of attachments. You want to comment on that in this way? Um, that is just the same as the other line on the amendment. It's within the cafeteria uh, budget. We're just transferring funds within the same category, just changing line item budget. I make a motion we approve line item amendment number two to the cafeteria fund. Second. All right, got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, anyone opposed say no. Thank you. And that uh, wraps up our financial matters for the night. Insurance and policy. I have three policies tonight. And I move to approve the revised policy 5.802 qualifications and duties of the graduate students on second reading. All right. Got a motion? A second. And a second? That's on second reading. All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed say no. Great. I'm, I move that we approve the revised policy 1.106 code of ethics on first reading. Second. All right, got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Anyone opposed say no. Okay. And the last one, I move to approve the revised policy 1.107 board members of conflict of interest in the first reading. Okay. Second. Got a motion and a second. We discussed this one at length last uh, time we were together, right? Very uh, strict conflict of interest policy based on new law right? mm -hmm. in Tennessee. So applies to not just board school board members, but I think all of them, the local elected officials. So. Um, okay, got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Um, anyone opposed say no. Great. And our next policy meeting will be May 4th at 4 o'clock. Okay, 4th at 4. Great, thank you. Um, Mr. Hopkins. Uh, you know, last night we were, I think we, we gave approval for the virtual school pending. Uh, our attorney looked at it, so we did all those campaigns. We signed the papers, and so they brought in a team and met with our team here. And so the next thing is to create, uh, after talking with the state and those meetings, they feel like we can go ahead and start our own virtual academy with a name, and mm -hmm. we're actually going to try to look to get its own school code and all those things. So what they came up with, along with us, uh, uh, we, I actually think it was Mr. Jones that, uh, that I, I, I'm sorry, I giggled, we talked about, he and I, we, we're pretty black and white, you expect these kind of things from Ms. Dots and all that, but there's good creative ideas. But anyway, came up with a Volunteer Virtual Academy, Volunteer being like the Volunteer State. So uh, we'd like, I would like to uh, see the board approve the name along with the logo that you have in here so we can use that as a advertisement for our new virtual kit. Everybody's seen that? It's pretty snazzy. Very actually. snazzy. Pretty mm -hmm. snazzy. I like it. thought they did a real good job with it. And you know, it, it's catchy. You can go BBA, you know, those kind of things. And I think that those are all important when you're looking at marketing. Mm -hmm. but anyway, so that, that I would like for y'all to approve that, please. Can I have a motion, first? All right. You have a motion? Second. Second. You know, we'll make any creative changes to the logo while we're here in real time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I do, too. I do too. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. You want to oppose say no. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's great. It, it is really great. Uh, 
Uh, the next thing, I'd, I'd like you to approve the Fayetteville High School FFA chapter to attend the Tennessee State FFA camp, Clements in Doyle, Tennessee on July the 17th through the 21st. Doyle, Tennessee. And the motion to approve. Got a motion? Third. And a second. Um, all in favor say aye. aye. Uh, if you want to oppose, say no. Sure. And I'd like for the board to approve the Fable High School cheerleaders to attend the UCA cheer camp at Clemson University on July the 8th through 12th, uh, 2023. Okay, a motion. Okay. And a second. That's kind of exciting as well. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Uh, you want to oppose, say no. Okay. They're going by bus. Okay. I clarified. Right? Yeah, I think Chante's driving, I believe. We're not making our parents, but there is who's uh, driving them. I'm not sure if we've worked the details out on that yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, but not me. but he, he had originally, I think, volunteered. <coughs> okay. Of course, we'll check schedules and do all that. Other but they are going by bus, though. So. Yeah. School bus. School bus. Not charter bus. Okay, school bus. Okay, that's correct. Well, they are officially approved, so they can surround the details. Yeah. And that is, Mr. Chairman, that is all that I have. All time. right. Thank you. Um, a few things. We we love our participation in the U Trust uh, Appreciation Program, and this month uh, we have a resolution for your consideration, a resolution of appreciation for teachers, whereas teachers nurture students and engage them in activities which will educate and graduate tomorrow's citizens and leaders. Whereas teachers spend countless hours preparing teaching materials, record keeping, analyzing data, individualizing instruction, developing teaching <coughs> strategies, grading papers and projects, studying about issues in education, consulting with administration, parents, students, and fellow educators, and so much more. And whereas teachers create a safe and healthy learning environment for the students to enjoy while they participate in daily lessons, and whereas teachers establish rapport with the students that produce memories for a lifetime, and whereas great teachers transmit their passion for learning onto their students, and whereas effective teachers give positive and constructive advice, praise accomplishments, and adjust their teaching styles as needed to meet the individual needs of the students. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Faithful City Board of Education recognizes the numerous contributions that our teachers make each day by establishing this Friday, May 4th, no, this Thursday, May 4th, as Teacher Appreciation Day in all Fayetteville City Schools. Be it further resolved that the board expresses appreciation and thanks to teachers in our school system and encourages each school and community to recognize them for their contribution to the success of our system and its students. That is for your consideration on this, the first day of May. Okay, Got a motion? Second. And a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All in, if you want to oppose, say no. Great. All right. And it's principal's day. It is principal's day. That we need another reason to say thank you to you guys because it's principal's day. Thank you. Thank you. It's just Monday in our room. Yeah. 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 I have a resolution for you. Oh, good. You can get it to us next week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, did, I did talk to uh, Sandy about that one time because we do the U Trust things. So sometimes it's a little uh, ours is a little different than mm -hmm. than the other stuff because mm -hmm. that kind of confused me yeah. one time. I asked people, "Should we do doing something?" Well, we do that. Yeah, we got a basis covered. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah we'll give them that. Okay. And Taco Mama, they said Taco Mama serving teachers on Wednesday, Thursday this week. Mm -hmm. PTO maybe is yeah, being, so. using Taco Mama to cater for Ralph Hassan. Have y'all stopped by? Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. 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 stopped by. Wow. That's cool. That's right. All right. Well, board members, uh, as you're well aware, we had an interview um, at the 5 o'clock hour with uh, Mr. Eric Jones that we were um, following our consideration of nine applicants who applied for the position, soon to be open position of superintendent or director of schools, whichever is your favorite uh, term for that position. And so, um, if there's any thing the board wishes to do at this point, then uh, we can have that discussion at this time. I move that the Finance Committee enter into negotiations with Mr. Jones on the contract. Okay. As right. superintendent or mm -hmm. whatever director, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> he goes by letter. Okay. Second. 
and a second. Any discussion? Further comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed say no. Okay. Well, then the Finance Committee will set about that business with Mr. Jones following this, following this meeting. Not tonight. But <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long enough afternoon already. But soon. I, I guess our goal will be then to bring back uh, for the June meeting, uh, hopefully a contract that we've mutually agreed to and ready for the board to officially approve. And uh, as we've said before, we'll say again, Mr. Hopkins intends to retire uh, effective June 30th, right? That's correct. And uh, just, you, you may be aware of this date, but there is a, this is not a secret, right? Reception. Oh, plan. yeah, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I started that sentence and then I realized this is not a surprise. <laughs> um, a reception plan for Mr. Hopkins. If on no one shows up, that's what we're going to call it. That. Okay. <laughs> right. On Wednesday, May 10th, um, from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. And will that be? It'll be downstairs, downstairs in the uh, yeah. in the auditorium. In the auditorium. Okay. Super. So and uh, well, anybody wants to contribute to a money tree, I'll have to. Have <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, it is a joke. Um, there's no money tree. I there is no money, money tree. tree. Um, Are they advertising that to paint like two? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't ask for it okay. to be done. So I mean, I, I don't know. But I, I guess. It's, Sandy will send that out at some point. Okay. okay. Well, we'll we'll trust our board secretary, Ms. Williams, will handle the advertising of that um, come and go event. I trust yes, between is. eleven and one on May tenth. A uh, chance to meet and greet and wish him well in his retirement. Um, so the board, the, the only other outstanding um, question I have for you related to our superintendent search is I have uh, eight other candidates. Nine, if you count the one who came in Saturday night at about nine o'clock, which doesn't really count. <laughs> but uh, we have eight other candidates. Is it the will of the board that I contact those other candidates at this time, or should I uh, to tell them that we're not considering them any further, or should I hold off on that? What's the will of the board? May I give advice yes. for opinions? Nice. I think that obviously this is not uh, the world's not a secret. I think it would be respectful to let them know at this point in time that you're not considering them anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, if something was to fail in the negotiation process, you would have to open it back up. But, you know, nothing's going to be secret after tonight, which it shouldn't be. Right. But I'm just saying right. the candidates will hear this, so it would be nice, I think, for you to go ahead and send uh, regrets. That's, I can, that's I can an opinion that. I give you. I can certainly read that tonight. I think that's good. Know, if that's okay, we'll look at it. I don't need a motion or anything. Okay. I just. I just wanted to get a sentiment of the board. Uh, I feel like we've sort of waited, 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 and it really, as of now, we really have a path identified, and it's probably time to, to move after that. So um, I will do that tonight. Um, uh, and I don't know, other than, other than asking you to look at your calendars, uh, we always like to make sure the next monthly meeting is going to be okay for everybody's busy summer schedules, June 5th, Monday. Are we good for a regular board meeting that night? Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Super. Well, then we will plan to see everyone on the schedule Monday, May 5th at 5 p.m. We, we, I will say that we had discussed the possibility of having a some kind of a work session or something in June sometime. We can certainly call that at that time. Uh, if you want to be thinking about we can even talk offline just about throw out some dates and then then we'll when we come together we can call a <coughs> session that, that's a day and time that will work for everybody that works for y'all hey, mr hoffman will be present at the team meeting you'll be, will you be here on the i intend to okay okay well, paying you better be here <laughs> <laughs> but so we both are still paying you that's 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 right. Right. any closing things no new agenda items, of course, but, but we can't do that. But any closing comments? All right. All right. Well, we'll stand adjourned. Thank you all so much.